Recording in progress. Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. We've come to the last day of our daily devotional about praying through uh, the wisdom scripture, praying through Proverbs. We're here at day number 31, and it's been a privilege and a pleasure to pray with you and to have you pray alongside of us um, through this daily journey. I pray it's been a blessing to you. I know it's been a blessing to my soul. I hope you are the wiser for it, and uh, we praise God for you. We're going to close out today in Proverbs 31, Proverbs 31 and verses 8 and 9. Proverbs 31 and verses 8 and 9. Here's what the New King James Version of the Word of God says. Open your mouth for the speechless in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Amen. Open your mouth for the speechless in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. We want to lift up three things before the Lord today. Number one, we want to pray that the Lord would lead us to use our influence for those without a voice, that the Lord would lead us to use our influence for those without a voice. Secondly, we want to pray that the Lord would lead us to use our inspiration for those without hope, that the Lord would lead us to use our inspiration for those without hope. And then thirdly and finally, we want to pray that the Lord would lead us to use our investments for those without resources, that we would use our resources to help support those without resources. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we honor you today and we lift you up and praise you. Lord, I thank you for this 31-day journey of praying through the Proverbs. Lord, thank you for making good on your promise that if any person lacks wisdom, you told us to ask of you and you would give it to us liberally. So Lord God, we thank you for the wisdom that you've given us over the past 30 days and even yet today. We thank you, Lord, that you've poured out your wisdom and you've given us discernment in situations and you've helped us to be discreet and have discretion in decision-making, Lord. And we just thank you for the wisdom that you've given to us. We thank you for direction that you've given in our pathways as we make choices and we have to decide which way to go, Lord. We thank you for the direction that you've provided. We thank you for helping us to understand how to live life skillfully before you. And Lord God, today, as we close out this prayer series, Lord, we, we just pray we would walk in your wisdom each and every day. We pray, Lord God, today that even as we go forward in, in our life and even as we go forward in our walk with you, that you would lead us to use our influence for others who don't have a voice. For you told us in your word, Lord, to open up our mouth for the speechless in the cause of all who are appointed to die. So, Lord God, lead us today to, to use our influence for those who don't have a voice, those that are voiceless in our communities, Lord, those that are voiceless in our fellowships, those that are voiceless in our families, Lord. Help us to use our influence with leaders and our influence with leadership to bring a voice to the voiceless. Help us, Lord, as we're in the presence of people who have influence as well to speak on behalf of those who don't have the same influence. Help us, Lord, to, to be the mouthpiece, mouthpiece for young children that, that are in need. Help us to be a mouthpiece for the poor and the needy, Lord, that people won't listen to, but they will listen to our voices. Help us to use our influence, Lord, to bring attention to those that are in need. Lord, we pray also that you would lead us to use our inspiration for people who are without hope. Lord, there's so many in our, in our circles today. There's so many in our, in our presence, Lord, that we, we know do not have hope. They've given up on life, Lord. They've given up on their future. They've given up and have no vision, Lord. They have no hope for what life can be, Lord. But let us use our inspiration. Let us use our relationship with you. Let us use what we know about what you're able to do in our life to inspire someone to have hope, to inspire someone to dream, to inspire someone to have vision, for how life can be in you. 
And then, Lord God, we pray that you would lead us to use our investments, our resources, the material wealth and goods that you've given to us. Help us to use them, Lord, not to consume the book upon our own lust and to consume it upon our own desires. But Lord, let us use the resources that you've given for, to us to make an investment in those who don't have resources, those who are poor and needy among us, Lord. Lord, we often think we have needs and we do. We often, Lord, come to you and ask you to give us our daily bread and you do. But Lord, when we look around in our community, when we look around in our neighborhoods, Lord, we often see people who are less fortunate than we are. So Lord, let us take the surplus, what you give us beyond our needs, Lord, and take it and, and sow it into the lives of others who need it, Lord. And not to do it to boast and to brag or to make ourselves look good, but let us do it, Lord, because you told us that's what a wise person does. They plead the cause of the poor and the needy. They pour into the lives of the poor and the needy that their needs may be met, even as you have done for us. So we thank you and bless you, Lord, um, for our influence. We thank and bless you for our inspiration. We thank and bless you for the investment that you've made into us. Help us use it in a wise way, Lord, that brings glory to you and uplifts your name. And we believe victory in the life of your people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, again, thank you for joining us all month long as we've been praying through the Proverbs, uh, praying and asking God for his wisdom. And I would encourage you to go back through this prayer series, um, pray it each and every day. If you find yourself in a place where you need wisdom, if you need to have discernment or to make a decision, uh, what a wonderful resource just to go back through this prayer series and just pray that God would give you that wisdom and God has promised to do it liberally. Go back over the scriptures and read them and meditate on them, hide them in your heart, memorize them so that you can bring them up. Because when we live according to God's wisdom, the message translation says wisdom is learning to live life skillfully according to God's word. So that's my prayer for you. I pray this has been a blessing to you. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we'll start a new prayer devotional series uh, next month. And I want you to get the notification so you can pray along with us and you can be in, in fellowship with us. So we thank God for you. I appreciate your support and your encouragement. We'll be back to pray with you again. Be victorious. God bless.